Hello guys, today we have to determine Hello guys, welcome up sorry to my civil design channel for Today we have to determine the dissolved oxygen in water via simulation lab The method are oriented by Winkler's method Apparatus used BOD bottle Burette, spatula, conical flask, graduated pipette, and automatic pipette. And the solution used manganese sulfate solution, alkali iodide azide solution, concentrated sulfuric acid, sodium thiosulfate solution, potassium iodide powder, hydrochloric acid, potassium dichromate solution, and starch indicator so let's proceed to the experiment total test combined by two step this is the first step standardization of sodium thiosulfate solution so let's proceed fill the burette with sodium thiosulfate The reading should be zero coincide. The potassium dichromate normality of zero point zero two five N take ten ml of this solution to Take 10 ml of this solution to this conical flask. Add 2 ml of hydrochloric acid to that sample conical flask. and take one spatula of potassium iodide to that solution the, normal, the normality of potassium dichromate solution 0.025 m then let's proceed then the sample should be titrated by The titration should uh, carried out till the color uh, should be pale yellow and add 1 ml of starch indicator to that solution paper, uh, uh, conical flask solution the color tends to blue and restart the uh, then restart the titration till the color of uh, conical flux should be colorless when the solution colorless then uh, of the knob and uh, the, the solution color turns blue after adding starch then the reading should be noted down final reading then the normality of sodium thiosulfate so that the formula n1 v1 equals to n2 v2 n1 v1 n2 v2 what is that the elaborate is there uh, the reading should be 0 0.02 something like that okay and then the second step the final step determination of dissolved oxygen so let's follow that's the uh, BOD bottle uh, the BOD bottle fill with the test sample few amount of test sample BOD bottle then 
add magnesium sulfate 2 ml of magnesium sulfate to that VOD bottle and uh, should be taken care that there should um, there should be no air bubble in that VOD bottle Uh, and this should be uh, this should done and taken care and add 2 ml of alkali iodide azide solution to that VOD bottle the color should change to uh, to a grey yellow and then the bottle should be shaken properly and rest it to settle down the precipitate like that the precipitate should be settled down like my video shared my video and subscribe this channel to get updated now add concentrated H2SO4 sulfuric acid 2 ml of that BOD bottle this process are carried out by taking care and precisely then the BOD bottle again should second carefully then take 200 ml of that sample from the BOD bottle to a conical flask for the titration this is the 100 and that is the second 100 200 of solution to a conical flask and this should be titrated by sodium thiosulfate taken in burette and start the titration till the color should changes to pale yellow color firstly off the knob and add same 1 ml of starch indicator to that uh, conical flask and the color tends to changes to blue and then restart the titration process till the color changes to colorless and reading and note down the final reading 6.4 ml from the burette the amount of uh, sodium thiosulfate and that is the table uh, the table reading should be like that and this is the formula normality of sodium thiosulfate volume of sodium thiosulfate multiply 8000 divided by volume of sample that is the uh, all the reading the uh, dissolved oxygen in mg per liter uh, amount should be uh, net about uh, i think 7 no that is the 7.68 dissolved oxygen so let's follow as we know the ranges of dissolved oxygen in drinking water should be between 4 mg per liter to 7 mg per liter our reading 7.68 mg per liter so it is not the bi standard range for drinking water the sample the water sample should not we should not supposed to use as drinking purpose
because the diesel oxygen level are higher than 7 mg per liter 7.68 so this is contaminated so thank you guys for watching uh, subscribe my channel share this video thank you